This is for chapter eight, lesson four, Pink Reteach. Please make sure you have the paper in front of you that looks like this, and please know that there are two sites. Let's begin. During a summer vacation, Sanjay writes letters and postcards to his friends at home. A letter costs 44 cents to mail, and a postcard costs 28 cents to mail. Sanjay writes to eight friends and spends $2.56. How many letters and postcards did he send? All right, this is what you need to carefully do. You read carefully. You identify what you need to do. What facts do you know? We know for a fact that a letter costs 44 cents and that a postcard costs 28 cents to mail. Sanjay writes to eight friends and the total cost is $2.56. And what do we need to find? We need to find the number of letters and postcards. The number of letters and postcards. We will then make a plan. You can solve the problem by making a guess, then check the guess. If it is not the correct answer, revise the guess, and then check it again until you find the correct answer. So this is going to be a guess and check. All right, let's turn the page over, please. Okay, so the next thing you can do is you make a guess about the number of letters and the number of postcards. Suppose you had four letters and four postcards. Let's do a guess and check and see what we get. So we would have four times 44 cents. And that would work out to be a dollar seventy six. And on postcards we had four at twenty eight cents. And that multiplied out would equal a dollar nope, excuse me, two dollars. Two dollars and eighty eight cents. So the total cost, we would then add 176 plus 288 to equal a grand total of 288. Is the amount the same as the total he spent? The answer is no. Should we revise? Yes, we need to adjust the letters down because the total is too much. Next, revise your guess and kiss. check your guess. Is the guess correct? Okay, let's, let's change it. Let's try something different. Let's try two letters times the 44 cents and see if this can get us a little bit closer to what we need. So two times 44 is 88 cents. And then let's adjust the postcards up a little bit because they're cheaper. So we can still get the eight because two plus six would be eight and times the postcards were 28 cents. Get dollar signs right here. Doesn't want to do a dollar sign, there you go. So then we can do six times 28 equals $1.68. Then we can add those together, $1.68 plus 88, and that gives us the 256. So guess and check, you change your numbers so you can fit. The main thing we had to do is make sure we had eight, so the two and the six would equal the eight. We now have $2.56, so we know that it needs two letters and six postcards. Is the solution reasonable? Yes. And how do you check your answer? Well, we checked to make sure he had eight because that's how many friends he entered and that was the total we needed. Okay, number one, we get to solve, guess, check, and solve and revise the strategy. Nelson has seven coins. All the coins are dimes and quarters. He has a total of a dollar and 15 cents. How many dimes and how many quarters does he have? Okay, so important information. We can only have seven coins and the total has to equal a dollar and 15. So I know that dimes, dimes are worth 10 cents 
and quarters equal 25 cents. So seven, so let's think about this for a minute. I know four quarters equal a dollar, and then I would only have 15 cents left, but that wouldn't work out because I have dimes, and dimes can't get to 15. So maybe let's go down a little bit. Let's do quarters, let's try quarters at three quarters. That would equal 75 cents, okay? Because we have to have this five because our ending has a five. Okay, so let's think about that. How many dimes would we need? So 85, 95, 105, that'd be three, four dimes because we need 115. So we need four dimes would equal that and that would be 40 cents. Add those together, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We would get our $1.15. Add these together, that would equal seven. That matches our beginning requirements. So we can say without a shadow of a doubt that we need three quarters and four dimes. A little bit of a guess and check there. The library charges 75 cents a day for an overdue video and 12 cents a day for an overdue book. Emily returns a video and a book and pays a total of $3.48 in late fees. Ah, so how many days late were her items? So she had a video and a book. So let's add those together. 75, 12, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. So that's the cost per day. Okay, a couple of ways you could do this. You could divide it and do 0, 8, 7, divide it into 348. Then you could move that decimal over, which you guys are familiar with. So you'd have 348 divided by 87. You could do it that way. Or you could just add them together, another strategy, to see until you get to the 348. 7 plus 7 is 14. 8 plus 8 is 16. And that's not quite enough, so I'll add another 87 over here. 4 plus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, 8 plus 8 is 16. That's not quite enough either, so I will add another 87 cents. Line up the decimals. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. Bring down the decimal. 2 plus 1 is 3. Oh! That's my number, 348. And I had one day, two, three, four. So four days is what it took for me to incur that debt. Another strategy is you could also take the 84 and just do a guess and check and randomly times it by certain numbers until you've got to the 348. So a couple of different strategies you can do. Um, you can keep adding it until you get the number. You can divide it. You can do a guess and check with numbers. Choose which one works best with your learning style. All right, make sure your name is on this and turn it in, please. Thank you.